Hello there and welcome to a sort of breaking news sort of video anyway. Like there's been sort of talks that recently that we're still in talks to for the sale of uh, Dayan Lovren, which normally I would be happy for. That is generally, you know, he's our fourth choice defender, Captain Calamity almost. And while he's done some good things for Liverpool, I think it would be time for Dayan Lovren to go in normal circumstances. Now, what I mean by that, by normal circumstances, is if we were able to perhaps bring in a replacement for Dayan Lovren. Now, obviously, with us and our transfer window already being closed, we can still sell players. Everybody in the Premier League can still sell players. So, like, Paul Pogba could move from Manchester United. You know, that, that kind of thing. So, we could still sell Dayan Lovren. That can still happen. The European transfer window goes on until, I think, 31st of August, I think. Don't think it goes on any longer than that anyway. So we could still sell him. Now, if we were able to buy somebody or bring someone in, then absolutely I would be like, yes. Get, you know, thank you, Lovren, for the good things that you've done. But it is time for you to move on. In similar situation like Mignolet. Now I know a lot of people turn around saying like, oh we should feel sorry for Mignolet now because he would have got a shot in the team. I'm quite glad he didn't. If I'm being honest, I'm quite glad that we have actually we actually have Adrian, you know, um, as a backup goalkeeper because he's a better goalkeeper than Mignolet, in my opinion. Anyway, this isn't about that. We shouldn't, in my opinion, let Dejan Lovren go at this point. It's a mistake to let a defender go right now with people possibly speculating. It's like, all right, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We can replace him in January, right? We're still in August. So then we'd have the rest of August, September, October, November, December, January. Almost, almost five and a half to six months to wait until you can bring in a replacement. And a lot can happen in that time frame. Now, as much as, you know, people who have watched this channel for a long time know my opinion of Dayan Lovren, that I think it is, that it's been well overdue, the time for Dayan Lovren to move on from Liverpool. But when we can't bring in a replacement, and we don't necessarily know what's going to happen in terms of youth players coming in and playing centre-back at whatever point that might happen, it makes no sense to let him go right now. You never know what can happen. God forbid it, touch wood. Virgil van Dijk or Joel Matip or Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez had a long injury last season. It could happen again. At least he can come in and do a job. However good that job is, doesn't really matter. And even though he can do a pretty bad job sometimes at the best of times, it's better to have him as an option when you can't bring anyone else anyone else in. Excuse me. Now people might talk about, oh, you could possibly bring someone in on loan. <laughs> it baffles me when think people think that we could bring someone in on, on loan from from where and who of that sort of you know the what we would expect for our quality of defending to build on the defensive structure that we had last season it's it's not going to happen not going to happen Dan Lovren should not leave Liverpool at this moment he should leave next summer or in January if we're able to bring someone else in. Now, what is your, what's your opinion on the whole situation there? Because knowing Liverpool, we're probably going to let Dan Lovren go. And it's for me, it could cause a bit of an uproar because we don't have a replacement. Now, a lot of people could turn around and say, well, what about Hoover? You know, the 16, 17-year-old lad. But just me saying that, he's a 16, 17-year-old lad who probably will benefit more from playing as a right back where we've got Trent. So then we would have to let's you know let so let's speculate. We go through the rest of the season with three fit centre backs. And when I say fit, I mean senior centre backs. So you'd have Virgil van Dijk, Joe Gomez and Joel Matip. The rest of them would have to be youth players. Don't think I'm a fan of that to be honest. At least with Lovren, it, it, you can you could literally switch out both your centre backs for say a cup game. So you could do like Joel Matip and Lovren in a cup game, and Joe Gomez and Virgil Van Dijk in a Premier League game or Champions League, whatever you know, or different combinations. You know, Virgil Van Dijk with Lovren and 
Joel Matip and Joe Gomez. That could happen. But if you take one of those away, like Lovren, that option doesn't exist. And it would leave us short in defence where we didn't strengthen. All right, people could turn around and say the new lad Vandenberg. I think Vandenberg. Vanderberg. Sepp. Let's just call him Sepp, who's like 17 years old. He's the same height as Virgil van Dijk, but nowhere near the built stature. And we don't actually really fully know what he plays like in a Liverpool shirt properly. And we probably won't know because he's a youth guy. So, again, yes, we could have a youth player there, but it's, you know, it's inexperienced at the highest level. I don't know what else to say. It's the one time where I can turn around and say that Dejan Lovren should stay at Liverpool. And I don't, t I don't say that lightly. I don't say that lightly. So, let me know what your opinions are of this. Should we let him go and take the risk and hope that all of our centre-backs and defenders stay fit for the entire season throughout possibly 50-60 games? Or should we do the sensible thing and have him stay at the club at least until January let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you have liked it, please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. If you hit that little bell notification, you'll get notified of when I make videos, which is, it's as often as I can make them. It's every couple of days, if anything. I'm gonna be doing, um, there's gonna be the Europa, Europa, the Super Cup. The Super Cup preview is gonna be coming out tomorrow morning to mid-afternoon, so that will be coming. It's going to be, I want to do the preview as late as possible so I can get the latest team news up until the game anyway. So, if you're looking forward to that one, stay tuned for it. Let me know what you think of this Lovren situation. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know it. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you later.